Well, we're doing the magic show. <laughs> All right. Okay guys, and as you can see before you, we have a collection of micro drifters here. We're just going to take a look at these real quick. And Leo is going to be running you through the close-ups. Okay, so first, this one's from Mater in the Sky. This one I think is called a Motor Mater. And that was the, uh, so this was the Mater Funny Car. It was about maybe a second in the uh, Cars 2 movie. All these, by the way, are from Cars 2 that we have here. Uh, and you can see this is the Funny Car. Uh, version of Mater where he's got the the rear spoiler wing and he's got the really super blown engine and everything this is the last disguise before they painted him to look like that that other tow truck in the movie mm -hmm. and here is machine gun Mater yeah so that's where he's got both the cannons on the side uh, does he have the rockets in the back too the rockets aren't showing up on this one but so this is the race so you got the yeah, so this is just the, the Mater with the machine guns. Leo's right. And who else we got? We've got this one. I think this one is a uh, swim fin missile. This is where. So this one is the title of swim mate. Swim fin. Yeah, so that's the one where he is uh, breaking onto the oil platform, and he's got the uh, fins and the rocket boosters for swimming. So this is that version of that car right there. You can see there's some cool stuff on it for uh, for the underwater. This one and the funny car, both of these are too big to fit in Colossus. We'll get to Colossus here in a second. But both of these two cars, um, there's different things you can do with the micro drifters, but for Colossus, he won't. He, they won't fit in there. So here's the here's where he got here's where he got to. So here's the first thing he he tried to sneak and try to get him. Yeah. So as a comparison, here's where what he looked like when he was trying to get the brake. Yeah. So this is the regular version that we see for most of the movie of Finn McMissile. And then here's where. Okay, so that's one of the bad guys. Yeah. Oh, so here. Oh, that's actually one of the good guys, but we'll get to him in a second. Here is, what, remember this guy? Mm -hmm. he, he's the professor that says, Finn McMissile, what are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, here he is. And you can see he's got the, well, Leo's marked him slightly. You can see there he's got the monocle. This professor zoomed up. You can see now we've got to. This particular one is called Acer. He's one of the bad guys with Professor Zundop, one of his henchmen. Um, and there you can see the, the roller ball of the drifters. Um, and there he is. He's, oops. <laughs> he, <laughs> he's, he's hard to hang on to. But he's this cool sort of, I don't know if you can see it, it's almost like a neon green color. Um, but he's pretty cool. He's based on the AMC Pacer. Is, is this a good guy? Nope, that is the other one of the henchmen. This one is named Grim. And, oh, hi Grim. And uh, Grim is, Grim is a, uh, based on an AMC Gremlin. Uh, neither the Gremlin nor the Pacer was known as a particularly reliable car. Uh, eventually this was bought by, AMC was bought by Daniel Chrysler, I believe. Daniel Chrysler being one of the people who owns Dodge, which makes such cool things as this Challenger. So this one is named Rod Torque Redline, and he's the guy that's captured and the, the first vi the first victim of the um, all in all that blows up with the uh, camera radiation. So that's one of the that's the spy that Mater winds up replacing. And we've got one more left to look at here of the cars, and that is Holly Shiftwell. And he turned into this guy. Holly Shiftwell. No, no, this is just the old spy. That That's the guy that Holly Shipwell was supposed to meet. But he wanted to get blown up by Professor Zunda when he's captured by Acer and Gremlin in the bathroom before Mater gets there. Okay, so. <laughs> in the bathroom? Yeah, in the bathroom. <laughs> so she is based on a Lotus, I believe. Uh, and then, so that's it for the cars of the micro drifters. And here we have. We're gonna have to back this out a little bit. Just hang steady here, guys. Let's back this out. Here so, so 
So you can see this is Colossus XX, and he is a very enormous uh, jump truck. And you put and you put those guys in there, then you. Uh, so let's see if we can back it out a little bit. Then you close it up, and there's this little but there's this little there secret button right here, and that makes it dump. The oh, characters. is there a button? Let's see it. What does it do? Oh, it opens the gate. Wow, cool. Okay. And then he kicks out and pours the car. And you can see the front of him. Uh, all this stylish stuff on here is not normally part of the vehicle. That's what, what Leo's additions to it. But And we're going to uh, reposition the camera here and uh, show you guys what he actually does. But do you want to say anything else about Colossus before we do that, buddy? So Colossus in the movie made her say, uh oh, this is going to be bad. Because he had a leak out of his pipe and went like this. Oh yeah, that's right. We They used him as a tipping tractor and made him, him go up in the air like this instead of one of the actual tractors. So he's a, uh, he, he didn't have a very long appearance in that show either. But all this stuff is from, from the second Cars movie, so this is all from all a part of Cars too. Let's uh, let's try to reposition here this here a little bit so we can see him in action. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys. I'm going to tell you something. Okay, Leo's going to tell us tell you something here, guys. So, so one tire is rubber and the other tire is plastic. Really? Mm-hmm. Let's see. So the front ones are rubber, and these are plastic back here. Whoa, you are absolutely right, dude. I've never noticed that before. That's pretty crazy. So here's wow. how it rolls. It rolls kind of hardcore. So watch still. Uh, so we're gonna do them. You do it one. Uh, no, no goodness, no. Okay guys, here let's see if we can get Colossus to eat a few of these cars. Uh, go for it, dude. No, don't eat me. No. Oh, don't even dare! Ah! Okay. He's having this guy for supper. He is? Ugh. Okay. You can kind of see how he pulls him in here a little bit. Let's try it here. Try, just try to do that line. Let's see if we can no. pick it up. Don't. Don't do him. He's one of the good guys. He's one of the bad guys. Do it. Let's see if we can pick up the action here. <sighs> you now, you never. Oh yeah. Can you let bad guy, but not the good guy. No, I want to eat the good guys and the bad guys. All right, do it. No, I don't. No, you're supposed to eat the bad guys. <sighs> Well, it looks like Graham might be about to be eaten here. Here we have a side shot of him. And... He's soon going to be... Looks like he might have eaten somebody there. <laughs> no, not me. Ah, this one does not fit. Okay, so the maters, these maters here do not fit. This mater and the funny car mater and this... Uh, that guy, none of those guys, they're all too big to fit in. Fit in Colossus. Ah! So let's try Holly Shiftwell. Looks like Lolly, Holly Shiftwell's for dinner. Holly Shiftwell's for dinner? Okay. So you can see this guy is not always the easiest thing to do here. Uh, and let's try it with, let me try one here. Let's see if we can get one here. A good <laughs> shot for you guys. Okay. Whatever. Let's try this guy. Okay. So Leo wants to protect those guys. So let's try this guy. You can see there, he's rolling back and being brought up inside. Okay, very cool. And you know what? Let's light it so you guys can see it even better. Okay, let's find another guy for him to eat. No, don't eat me. Okay. Looks like he, he has late night snack to eat. Uh oh, yeah, oh. You will soon be one of your lunches. Ah. Uh oh. 
Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Plus it's lunch now. Okay, you see that guys? He left it up into the back. So let's let's move the angle so you guys can see what happens after he gets brought up inside. So you can see back here, um, let me hold this up for a second. Do you, here's the mechanism right here, and then uh, turn the front wheels, Leo. Here's why they're rubber. Because it grips, and it helps it turn. Okay, you can see it's got it's got just some, some fins there that just pull everything up inside. So let's change the angle and see what happens after the fins catch it. Okay guys, so here's the captured cars right now, and there's not really a way to lift this up to get them out of there uh, because of how this is made. So basically you drop the gate and then just literally lift the entire truck up to get everything out and then just drop the flat back in place. So I'm gonna come around the side here so we can get a look here at Colossus in action um, as he eats the cars. And there you can kind of see, here, let's, let's pull in here. You guys are interested in how toys work, and you probably are if you like us. So, okay, so let's let's track it here as Leo runs up to eat some cars. No, oh, there he is. He popped right in there. Okay, here he goes. He's going after another one. Oh, I guess he rolled over. <laughs> okay, he didn't he didn't eat anybody that time. He just rolled over. It looks like there's a car, and he got it. He, Whoops. He, he, I guess he's okay, a dominoes. Okay, you can see, so it just flips it up and it spits this little door right here up. And let, let's take a look in there. Here, here, you hold the flashlight, try it like that. Okay, see that guys? Just pops the door right there when cars come out. Whoops. So that's how the cars get in there. It just, it's sort of like a conveyor here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Here, let's do this. Okay, there's that. Okay, let's try something here. Let's move this and move this. Okay. Let's take a good look at this in here. There you go. So you can see it's actually on a conveyor. There's two different parts to it. It's so it's like it's it's oblong instead of round. Guess what? Holy shift wants to tell you something. So you can see it's on sort of a pulley there. Hey, spin the front wheels, buddy. You guys see this? There it is. That's him going backwards. I don't think Lee, Lee cars it goes backwards? No. Okay, so here it is spinning forward. Now you can see where it's just gonna dump it right into the bin. Very cool, very cool so guy. Now this, this guy doesn't work super, super awesome, but he does work pretty well. Okay guys, so one of the things with this, you can see this is on a really, really slick table, a review table, um, and this mat is to help us Dude, sort I of get a look. So you can see here, um, our, our mat helps us to give, you can see here, so we can, it gives a little bit of grip for the tires. Uh, you can kind of see it, it helps the wheels move and so on. But it's not, this is not ideal. So this is not, there's just not enough friction on this table. Let's fix the table. <laughs> so we're going to try to take these toys somewhere else where we can get better traction and show you how that works over there. Okay guys, here we are in Leo's room and we're going to try to, we're going to try it on the mattress and see if that works. A little bit better. Okay, let's line the cars will. up and count them. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Okay, six cars. You can see they're all lined up. Will, will they work sideways? Or are they too big? I think he's kind of pushing them if they're sideways. Just try it, yeah. Does it work or no? It does. Sort of. He's pushing her, I think, more than eating her. Let's try them all straight on. Okay. Okay, try that one. Yeah, try a whole line of them. See what happens. So, hang on a second. Let's push Colossus back so we have a little bit of room to play with here. I'm not sure that this surface is going to work any better, actually. It does have more traction, but it also is not, as you can see, particularly level. So, 
Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Can you make the stormy noises? Because it's a stormy day. <laughs> no, it's... Meow. Oh, the kitty's out in the rain. No. Okay, hold on. They don't like wet. No, they sure don't. Okay, try to do the whole line of them. Let's see what happens. He has to go backwards if he wants to puff them up. So I guess he has two dominoes just for so you can see, you got to have a certain amount of pressure to really get this guy to work well. Wow. Um, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it this way. Oh, it looks like Rod is in the ditch. Here, let's, let me try it. Let me, give me a try. Okay, so let's have it go here. You can see it works a little bit better, but not particularly. So, we need a, a flat surface where we can get some more traction. So, back to the drawing board. Let's find something else. So, he's, he's going to do it. But we can just put in like this. So, okay, guys, this is coming into a lot of testing. So, now we're going to, we're still in Leo's room. We're going to give a try for the carpet. Okay, so I want to show you something, kids. You see, there's the large scale. Uh, normal version of Finn and He's just, there's so this. I'm going to show you something kids so so Colossus does it in a certain way so if you dump this if you put the button you it opens the gate and you do like this <laughs> Yes, he turns into a big, gigantic tipping tractor. Yeah, let's back out so you can see it there. Okay, let's see. Let's line him up and see if he can get these guys on the carpet. So there they are, all bunched together. Let's have uh, Colossus run through them. Or well, let's have Colossus fall on top of them. <laughs> That's good too. Okay. First is up is Finley's missile. Okay, he's all the way over there. See if he can get to them by driving to him. Yeah, looks like he can. I guess he's dominoes. Yeah. Okay, let's see if he can eat these other guys. Let's try it and see what happens. <laughs> I don't want to be pineapple. You do? Okay. <laughs> okay. That guy is not good with being a pineapple. Awesome. You just got dominoes. What? Let's try it. Oh, there we go. This might be the ticket here. So oh, carpet seems to work better. Okay, hang on one second. Oh no, they're all in a line. It looks like what's going to happen here. I'm not an orange. I don't want to be an orange. He doesn't want to be orange. Graham does not want to be orange anymore. Oh, and there comes Colossus. Not in me, an orange. Not me, a mushroom. Not me, silverware. Not me, a mushroom. Okay, you can see. So you can see the. One of the major problems with this particular toy is that it does not, you have to push down on it. So if you're not pushing down on it, putting some weight on this guy, all he does is push the cars in front of him and then rolls over. Now all he does is push the cars in front of him if you don't put a little bit of extra weight on it. So it, this is kind of a neat design but you can't really get everything to work well in conjunction unless you have a surface like this that's got enough friction to hold the cars in place while this is turning and also you have enough pressure on the front of Colossus uh, to get him to actually lift up the cars. Hey guys, I really don't know what's going on today. Uh, it's kind of dark and spooky. Boom! <laughs> Oh, what's that light? What's that coming from? What do you think that means? I'm scared. What do you think that light means? I don't know. What do you think it means? Oh no, it's Colossus! Okay, Leo's grabbed Colossus and he's got a couple things he wants to tell you about some of the markings on it. So, you know, on here, on the back right here, you know, that, okay, right here, it more looks like a sword vehicle. Oh yeah, sword vehicle, and he's got a a Teen Titans Robin mask in there. What else you got, buddy? Then I've got this. It's called a winger. A what? A winger. A winger? Oh, cool. And then I then I've got 
a, a scribbling trailer truck. Wow, that's a lot of stuff for one dump truck, dude. And that's pretty cool. On here, I'm pretending like he's blind. Oh. And then right here, he had some scratch marks from tipping. Uh oh. <laughs> You met Mr. Floor one too many times. So, so there it is. You guys can have all sorts of crazy games. Okay, guys. So uh, we found that the with Colossus came Lightning McQueen. We don't have that figure anymore, um, and we don't have the Drift Racetrack um, that uh, these also you can use these guys on. That might work better than Colossus. We got these mainly for Colossus. Hey guys. There you go, guys. There's the guys all in a different shot with some modifications to them, uh, courtesy of the Sharpie Corporation. And hey, Leonardo. Funimator. It's not a choice. So, um, the big ones we don't use hardly ever for anything, uh, just because they don't fit Colossus, and we don't. This this was, I think, probably a passing interest. So this is probably one of those toys that you can kind of safely skip unless you're really, really a big time Disney or Pixar collector. Uh, I mean, they're they're okay, but they're the other ones are quite a bit cooler and Hello. probably a lot more functional. Hello, guys. Guess what? I shot him. Oh, that wasn't very. <laughs> Made her shot one of his paint, one of his alter paint jobs. Hey, how to do that? I don't know. As always, we appreciate you guys stopping by to check all this stuff out. And there goes Leo <laughs> off the chair. All right. We would love it if you would click like and subscribe. Upside down, Leo. And uh, we love those thumbs up. We love, we love our subscribers. And we will see you, not yes. you. We'll see all you out there in YouTube land. <laughs> and we'll probably see you sooner, Leo. <laughs> we'll see all of them next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>